This video is sponsored by ClipDraw, a software that we use to edit our videos. If you're interested in using this software too, please see the description below for affiliate links. The mismanaged talent of his generation, or a Portuguese pretender who's not fit to tie the laces of Eusebio, Figo, Ronaldo. Just how good is Joao Felix? Joao Felix. Felix's dribbling is one of the most eye catching attributes of his game. He's someone who's been compared to Ricardo Kaka, someone who also could drive from central areas, deeper areas, whether from a wider position, and just leave midfields and defences for dead because of their ability to break the lines at speed. I think what Kaka had over a Felix at this moment in time is he was a bit more powerful. He could hold off the best defenders, the best midfielders, and leave them for dead. I think what Felix has is he's a bit more agile. He's got more tricks in his locker. He's more imaginative in the way that he carries the ball. But he hasn't quite got that substance to go with his style just yet. And that probably explains why he's got less than 50% successful dribbles. But he is someone who progresses the game often. So he will lift a team. But it's more suited to a team that's in a transitional situation. Is he someone who's going to break through a packed defence? That's more questionable. Statistically, if we look at Felix's goal scoring threat, this looks like a player who doesn't really offer much on goal. He's someone who doesn't get in the box enough. Someone who has no real desire to get in and be a regular match winner for his team. And if we look at Atletico's goal scoring stats, you know, they're a team that struggles to score goals. I mean, I guess they've always been quite a negative team. But with him and Griezmann up top, they're not a team that really threatens the goal often because both of them are essentially more creative players than they are goal scoring players. However, when we start looking at the footage of Felix, we start to see a player who's got pace to run in behind, someone who's quite strong in the air, as we'll touch upon later, someone who can shoot off either foot, someone who can wrong foot a defender you know, in tight moments of pressure inside the box, someone that can shoot from range. Um, he can even produce a spectacular finish. So all the elements are there for him to become a regular 20 goal a season player at a bare minimum. And yet he's barely scored more than 10 a season for Atletico. So definitely an area of his game where there's huge scope for growth, but also concerning because it shows that there's a, there's a mental problem here in terms of his tactical aptitude for getting in and wanting to score goals. Compared to a Benzema who can be efficient as well as progress the game, Felix's link-up play is overly risky. And at times, despite his wiry strength, he can be flimsy. So he's inconsistent in terms of bringing teammates into play, which when you consider that he's probably headed to the English game, that's an issue. Now, he does progress the game, which is essential for a team like Atletico who rely heavily on him and Griezmann to provide that creative thrust. But more physical substance is needed and a greater astuteness and awareness of when he can progress and when he needs to just offer simple wall passes or just hold on to the ball for that bit longer and wait for appropriate support. He doesn't overly get on the ball either, which suggests he's better suited to this second striker false nine role rather than as a pure number 10. Felix oozes creativity and whilst he's got strong numbers compared to a Kai Havertz, one feels his numbers would get even better if he was put in a side with plenty of attacking runners and if he was tasked with just playing these runners in. He's got excellent vision. He's got an unorthodox mind which likes to attempt the impossible, like a kid in a playground. Now, this can lead to spectacular assists, but also frequent losses of possession as we touched upon in the last section. So an area which requires fine tuning, but also promises great potential. Now we've seen with someone like Havertz who also promised great things from a creative perspective when he was at Leverkusen and in his early years at Chelsea, that if you are surrounded with a sheer lack of runners, you end up being caged in. You've got no one to feed in and your creative numbers take a hit. Now, Felix faces a similar predicament at Atletico, but he still managed to produce good numbers. So that suggests to me he's generally a more creative force, but I still feel this is an underdeveloped strength. Felix has a great range of crosses in his locker and he's generally quite efficient with his crosses too. He can hit Travella crosses. It seems like every Portuguese star has that in their locker. 
He can whip crosses in from the right. He can whip in swingers in from the left. And if he wants to, he can even dink to the far post using his weaker foot. And it probably explains why managers are so prone to wanting to use him wide. But for me, he's someone who you should allow to roam from flank to flank because he's just got a devastating array of crosses. Even from the half space, he can put in these De Bruyne style balls and he can use the Traveller from weird angles as well, which just opens up defences. So yeah, a player who's crossing is a big part of his game and something which should make him quite effective in English football too. In terms of his long passing, Felix is someone who likes to try the long pass often. In terms of success rate, 52%. It's not really particularly efficient. Someone who blindly hits long passes at times. However, his technique, there doesn't seem to be major issues with it. So it's definitely an area of his game which can progress. I think the decision making element is where it's weak at the moment. Knowing when to hit the long pass, weighting it a bit better. Definitely scope for improvement here. With the way that Chelsea play, you know, with the wing backs, Reese James, Chilwell, even if they play in the back four, those guys fly forward. So Felix's tendency to want to use the long ball could be a strong weapon. It's just it needs to be executed correctly for it to be effective. I think it's fair to say, looking at those numbers, that heading forms a strong part of Felix's overall game. And that's what makes him such a, a complete talent in some respects. Now, when a ball is coming into the box, Felix represents a great goal threat. He's someone who leaps like a salmon. There's an aggression in the way that he attacks the ball when the ball is coming in. He is capable of subtle movements, which you know leave a defender guessing as to where Felix is standing behind them. However, he lacks that same aggression when he's dealing with open play situations like goal kicks. Sometimes he's even not even looking at the ball when the goal kick's taken, and he can get dominated which is a concern when he's going into the English game, especially if he's utilised in a central role. So it's still scope for growth here, but definitely a lot to work with. Felix's defensive numbers are decent. Um, they're not spectacular, but they're OK. But considering the talent that he brings to the table in terms of his speed, his ability to eat up grass very quickly... I think he's someone whose defensive numbers could be world-class, like a Firmino under Klopp. I just think he needs to be coached in the right way because when you see him win the ball, when you see him close down a defender, he does it with you know, frightening intensity. It's just he doesn't do it enough and I don't think it's being channeled in the right way. His press is sporadic and I guess that ties in with the way Atletico play where they sporadically press when they need to and at times they just sit back and be negative and I think if he was under a prep Guardiola he'd be a, a pressing machine tactically Atletico play in a number of different formations you know you've got your 4-4-2 diamond which we're going to look at here where Felix is playing alongside Griezmann but at times you've seen Felix used on the left you've seen Felix used in a 3-4-1-2 behind a Griezmann and a Morata but essentially the key problem that Atletico generally have is this ability to penetrate the opposition and score lots of goals. And the reason being, if you've got a Morata there with a Griezmann or a Felix, you know, as much as Morata is a typical nine, he's just not an elite forward who's going to score goals out of nothing on a regular basis. Then you've got the problem of Carrasco, and he's not really an elite winger either. There's no real width to this Atletico team. Now, if we look at this move to Chelsea, you know, for me, it doesn't really make sense because he's a very similar tactical profile to a Havertz. And that presents a problem because it's a similar situation to what he had with Griezmann. Two very similar players in forward positions and no real runners off them. Where are Chelsea's runners? And for me, to make this move work, Chelsea would need a Mudrik as well. And then you'd probably have to drop Havertz for a Felix and have Mudrik playing off him to give that runner from a wide position and give him some pace to work with. Felix throughout his career so far has not really had that to work with. In conclusion, to answer my original question, I think Felix is one of the most mismanaged talents of his generation, someone who made a very poor career move to go to Atletico. He's someone who could have been the jewel in a Pep Guardiola side or even a Jurgen Klopp side. And I think playing in a false nine with lots of pace around him, wing backs flying forward, lots of chances being created would have really brought out the best in him. 
I think he went to a negative side in Atletico. It's really curtailed his development. And I think this move to Chelsea, again, it doesn't make any sense unless they, you know, they sign him at the end of the season and they start building the team around him and surround him with pace, with wing forwards of electric pace, like a like a young version of a Gareth Bale and Cristiano Ronaldo. That is what's going to bring out the best in a Felix. I think he wants to be that false nine and he wants to feed players in. And we haven't seen it in his career to date. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe and see you guys again next time. Bye.